What's going on everybody and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we're opening up what I believe is the February Mario's Mystery Block. <clears throat> it feels like I just got one of these. Uh, I think this is February. It's way too late for January. Uh, but it's kind of early for February but that's what we're going to go with. Um, but maybe the box will tell us without um, you know spoiling too much. But what exactly is Mario's Mystery Block? This is a monthly sub box that sends uh, Nintendo related stuff to you. The name is a little bit misleading because this isn't all about Mario. You can basically get stuff from any Nintendo franchise. They do have franchise specific boxes as well, um, but those don't come around too often. So if you like Nintendo stuff or you're a fan of Nintendo like me, this could definitely be the box for you. This box costs right around $30 including shipping. I might be a few dollars off there, I'm not entirely sure, but I love this service. It's a fantastic service. They kind of dipped in quality a little bit for a few months there. Last month's box was really, really good. So let's hope they keep that trend going. This box feels like it's pretty heavy. So that usually means a mug or a book, which I'm not overly like, you know, I don't really collect mugs or books, but we shall see when we open it. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and let's open up this February Mario's Mystery Block and let's see what we've got. <laughs> They have an exclusive t-shirt in this box every month, which I typically love. Um, one of the main reasons to get this box. And also, I like Nintendo trinkets. So, you know, you get Amiibos and different kind of vinyl figures and stuff like that in this box a lot. So if you like that kind of stuff, definitely check this one out. So let's check this paperwork out real quick here. So we'll take a look at this first. So it says kick back and relax. So I'm guessing that's what the uh, theme of this box is, whatever that means. And then on the back, it's just basically telling you to share on social media if you do unboxings and stuff like that. So yep, <clears throat> we actually got another paper in this um, box. Says Mario's Mystery Block, big changes are coming to our service in March of 2022. Says they're not closing. So I'm not going to go through this whole entire thing. I'll probably read this off camera. Uh, you might be able to go online and research what this is. Or if it's possible for you guys to pause that and read it. Um, as long as the service is not ending, I'm perfectly okay with that. But I'll read that off camera. That's a lot of words to try to read to you guys. Alright, so first up, what do we got? It's in a bag. It's Kirby related, so I'm going to love it no matter what. So let's go ahead and let's open this. This might actually be taking the place of the shirt. Sometimes you don't get t-shirts. Sometimes you get other stuff. I don't know what this is. Feels like a pillowcase? It's a BioWorld product, so that's awesome. BioWorld has great stuff. It's a banner, like a flag. It feels like the material that you would find on like a bag. I guess it's just like a display thing. But it's just got Kirby in different poses on it, but that is so cool. I love that. I will gladly display that somewhere in my room even though I don't really know exactly what it is but it's licensed and it's cool so I love Kirby so that's great so we'll set that down to the side like I said I'll just hang that somewhere okay we've got two big things in here so we'll pull this one out first and it's a mug we actually have a Zelda mug uh, so you can respect that so that's awesome. Like I said, I don't really collect mugs, so this probably won't stay in my game room or collection. But I'm sure somebody out there will enjoy it. At least I like the uh, design on it. So it's kind of funny because it uh, changed the, uh, the saying on the screen where it says, drink this. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so what is this then? Okay, so we actually have a 250 piece jigsaw puzzle so that's really cool and that's why this box was pretty heavy because it had that mug and this in it so i'm guessing that's what the puzzle is looks like the puzzle is in a question block so that's really cool 
I like putting together puzzles. It's fun and relaxing. So I'll definitely have fun with this at some point in time. And we don't get a whole lot of puzzles, so it's kind of nice to see something like that. All right, so next up and probably last, we actually have a book. Uh, so 16 pages of photos inside the New York Times best-selling series, What is Nintendo? This book is not authorized, licensed, or endorsed by Nintendo or any of its affiliates. So I'm guessing this is kind of like a trivia book. Um, it's definitely got a lot of words in it. Um, so maybe it's kind of like, you know, going through the history of Nintendo. Because Nintendo does have a long history and it's not all to do with video games. So, I mean, you can get a decent idea of what that is, I hope. Um, I'm not really much of a book reader. I like listening to audiobooks, though. So, But, I, I mean, I'm a big fan of Nintendo, so I'll probably give this a shot. And it will definitely be a cool little, like, coffee book, uh, coffee table book for my uh, game room. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. And that is it. Nothing else in our Mario's Mystery Block, which is pretty typical. We usually get about four things in this box. Uh, so, now that we've pulled everything out, let's do some price and recap. Let's see um, if we got some extra value. When you get Mystery Boxes, you kind of want extra value compared to what you pay out. That's one of the reasons why you get these boxes. Uh, so we'll start with this book. I have no clue what this costs. The back of it says it's $6, so we'll go with $6. Puzzle, let's give 10, so we're up to 16. The mug, we'll give eight, so that's like 24. And whatever this is, I'll give this $15 being generous. So, I mean, you know, we got right around, you know, $40 in value or so. I mean, it wasn't great, but it's also not bad. I mean, I feel like this one's a little bit worse than typical, but like I said, it's still not bad. Uh, but we do pay about $35 for this box, so we got a little bit of extra value, so we'll check that off. Like I said, if you round up or down to so about $40 in value. Um, the other way I rate these boxes is do I like the stuff? I really like this Kirby thing. It'll be a cool display piece in the game room. I'm not the biggest fan of mugs, but I can appreciate this. Uh, the book is pretty cool, and uh, the puzzle is awesome. Probably my favorite thing in the box. A little bit disappointed we didn't get a shirt this month, but that's okay. Um, overall, I would give this box a solid B grade. Uh, nothing absolutely spectacular, but not bad either. What would you guys grade this box? What did you think about this stuff? What was your favorite thing? Do you think this stuff was worth about $35? I would love to have a conversation with you guys about Mario's Mystery Block. But that's probably going to do it. But first, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys. If you know anybody who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. Um, I'm always trying to grow the channel a little bit. But for now, probably going to go open up some more boxes, maybe play some video games, try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.